Sandra, how come you're reading at work? Well, it's because we had a ferry flight that one time, so we had four passengers. Literally, we served them, and then we had nothing else to do, and we had a lot of seats, so that was really fun, actually. And then we touching down. Actually, you know, sometimes I see like three to four airports a day, just because I'm always going back and forth, because we have short flight-ish. But yeah, that's me taking some clips for you guys. And then I'm going to the museum. This is the ROM Museum in downtown Toronto. And I've been here before, but I just really felt like going. Every third Tuesday of the month is free, so that's why I went. But there was way too many people. So after a while, me and my friend just got tired of like going to people. Um, the time that we went, we, they had like this National Geographic um, nature type of expose and you were not allowed to take pictures and videos of that but i did read all the pictures and we went to check everything and then obviously i went towards the uh, gothic 17th century 18th century side of things because they're just so beautiful and really is putting me in the mood while i'm reading romantic outlaws as you'll see later on in this video but yeah, and I think this is when my little crises started happening, like this entire month before leading up to my birthday. So enjoy that. <laughs> So on the one hand, I am terrified that crew scheduling is going to call me to come work. But on the other hand, I really feel like starting to write my novel today. And I was trying to film a new video where it's like swapping my social media time for writing time. So yeah, and I have to read this book finished because I have like a million and one loans out and a million and one books that I want to read. But I'm only like halfway through, like there's a lot to go, but I love this book so much and I finally found an audiobook. So it's Romantic Outlaws, The Extraordinary Lives of Mary Wollstonecraft and Mary Shelley. I've been reading this since last summer. I kind of stopped and now I'm back at it and it's so, so good. So I'm going to read these chapters. I'm going to wait for my YouTube video to export on my laptop and then maybe in like half an hour or so if Cruzked is not calling me to come into work. I'm gonna go to the um, coffee shop and start writing my novel. So it's almost 2 p.m. I'm gonna try to read for half an hour. Uh, make sure that my video is like uploaded on YouTube. Then I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna grab my laptop, grab everything. I'm gonna have my luggage already in the car and I'm also going to bring like my work purse. So like that, if they do call me, either I go directly or like I could drop my bag with my laptop and stuff at home and then just go directly because the coffee shop's like five, ten minutes away from my house, so it shouldn't be too bad. And yeah, so I'll just come home, get changed, drop my stuff, grab my stuff and go in case they call me. Hopefully they don't call me at all, but I don't know. I'm working technically today and tomorrow, so they still is a big chance that I work at some point, so.
the way that back then the shit was messy it was messy and it had to be covered and even historians can't make sense of it some of it so that's crazy and uh just now reading the passage where mary and percy are both living in rome with um mary's uh, stepsister claire it's just so like beautiful like it makes me want to go live in rome and then you have mary wollstonecraft who's spending a lot of time in paris and france and i'm just like ugh, i just want to move i just want to travel i don't know i love Okay, I don't love, but I don't hate, but I don't, I don't know. I just, I feel like when I read things about authors and whatnot, I feel like I am not traveling enough. I feel like I'm not living enough. I feel like I'm not experiencing enough. I feel like I'm not consuming enough history. And that's why like I took this job as a flight attendant, but the company i got hired with doesn't do international international travels so right now like as i'm reading this i'm like kind of getting distracted because i'm thinking should i reapply to the company i initially wanted to work at although i know i'm gonna have to basically go back into training for two two months and start over again and i don't know i really think like that's the right thing because that other company would bring me to Asia and Europe and all around the world, uh, hopefully, you know. So it's just really hard. Like I, I obviously don't have the finances to travel on my own right now. And like I'm saving money for like other things and just a lot right now. So I feel like if I want to go to Europe, if I want to see Europe, I would have to switch to that other company because I would get there quicker than sticking with my company that I have right now and the pay is much lower and the benefits are much lower and it's just I'll never be able to go to Europe in that sense if I stick with this company or like I won't be able to go anytime soon I don't know and it's not that everything is a rush but it just feels like the goal was to go to the initial company that I wanted to go and they got back to me too late and now I just wish I did things differently and I wish I'd told them that you know I would go with them or something you know I don't know <sighs> just life things Ugh. I wish they got back to me earlier Arizona, continue reading. This is really good. I really love this. And it's just so fascinating reading about both Mary Wilsoncraft and Mary Shelley's life.
So I said that I would vlog more, so this is me trying. I'm in a Canadian city right now. I'm actually in Regina, Saskatchewan. I wouldn't have never got here by myself, but yeah. So I'm just gonna go and see if there's anything to go eat and like work on my book. But I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I can go and work on my book somewhere. But this is, this is, finally a layover has happened again because trying to like move my files around because I need to move files in order to edit a video because I don't have space on my computer so that's what I've been doing I feel like it's such a waste of time sometimes I just want to get a video all out of last week and now it's going to be delayed because I'm working and I'm in between hotels right now and it's it's just a lot so let me see I hope now I have enough room on my computer but yeah I went to this the hotel restaurant or bar whatever it was and um, it was pretty good I had a like prosciutto pizza with arugula figs and something else um, it was such a good pizza like I ate the whole thing I haven't I've been trying to fast so I didn't eat since yesterday and it was very thin crust and I also had um, a glass like a little little glass anyways you'll see the clips of Dubonnet red and it was really good it was very sweet though so I don't recommend like it for like casual drink so but I tried it and it was good and yeah that's it that's it that I've been that I ate all day um, I had like two cappuccino at work because I was waiting because my flight got delayed for three hours two hours actually and yeah now I'm just trying to get this video done it's like 7 p.m. but it's actually 9 p.m. my time at home and I need to wake up at like 3 a.m. so I think I should go to bed in an hour or two but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fall asleep because I had so much coffee today um, so I'm just gonna drink my green tea and hope that I would fall asleep I already started closing one of the big windows in the blinds so just trying to get myself into the sleep mood but we'll see and yeah that's about it now i'm just gonna try to fix around these files <laughs> This was day two of the pairing. I basically we went back and forth between Toronto and Regina and then I'm just doing some work on my computer trying to edit the videos like I said yesterday. Um, but yeah, I was not feeling my best because like I said, I've been so conflicted with everything in the last few weeks i really had a hard month in april i would say and um but then i went out with my friend from work well not my friend but like my co-worker and we went to this nice place to eat and it was delicious but then crisis starts in three two one i'm tired of being a one to give the advice i need advice like i need real advice i need real help I need someone to tell me it's gonna be okay and I wanna figure it out. I'm so tired to be on my own figuring everything out all the time. <laughs> I'm tired of being the one that everyone looks to for advice. <sighs> I just wanna change my life. I can't. For good. 
So I think having breakdown moments like that is a good thing because it really pushes you to reevaluate your life and actually like change your life and not stay stagnant. So yeah. Does anyone else get crazy around their period or is that just me? Because <sighs> I've literally thought of quitting my job for like the last two weeks. And I know I'm supposed to get my period soon, so I don't know if it's just me, it's the job, it's the sleep, it's- I don't know what it is, okay? I'm trying so hard. Um, but yeah, this is like a-, a this at this point, this is a pattern. And it's not self-sabotaging, it's just that I know that I'm- I know my dream life, it's the gap, okay? It's the gap, it's the loops, it's the everything in between from me now. And that dream. Anyways, I sound like a crazy person. I really am not. I am just like trying to figure shit out. I've been trying to figure shit out. But you know what? I'm going to stick with it. Because I worked really hard to get there. And I know that it's going to all like, you know, everything in due time. But I also believe that like sometimes we just have to take leaps and we really have to jump forward for what we want and you know what the last time i was very happy and calm and and like really assured of my choices was like it's always at like the deepest lowest low in my life or like when i do something so drastically and dramatically different so like when i did the fasting that i did last year i did like a a 20 day water fast and it really changed my perspective on everything and i feel like i'm finally ready to like embark in another challenge like that to like literally reset my entire system and to really like sharpen my mind again and i think i'm gonna do that starting oh no this is broken no starting may 1st yeah so i probably am going to film i also been like feeling like i want to film all these like different videos but like they're not like some videos are more like out there than other videos but at the same time what is the point of posting online if you're not if you don't like what you post and if you're not daring, and if you're not willing to put yourself through that hoop that you want to go through, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is the point of doing anything if you're not doing it in your own way? Like, what is the fucking point? And I think that's why I struggle to live under anyone's command in, in this society, you know? Like, I struggle to be at a job, even if I like the job, even if I like the people, I struggle Li like working under other people's expectations time restraints time whatever and yeah i just oh, i don't know i'm like introverted i'm not anti-social like i am a very social person you know like i can make friends very easily but it doesn't mean that like it's a real connection because a lot of people are just contented with like surface level you know and there's nothing wrong with like you know connecting with people like not everyone has to be like your new best friend or anything like that but i don't know there's something missing and like i spoken to one of my friend about like this chronic dissatisfaction that i've had since i was a kid and it's mostly because of like i've never been allowed to go play like i've never been allowed to go and be creative to fully embrace myself like i've always been that person that like asked questions and there was no answer to those questions like or i was discouraged to ask those questions so here's to me turning 27 soon um asking all those fucking questions and not caring about the answers i come up with if i even come up with any answers and yeah i just want to live my most authentic crazy fucking limitless life and i'm so fucking done i'm done and tired like i'm done and tired um pleasing other people 
and I'm done and tired living under other people as well. So that's another thing that I want to work on. And yeah, I just need to go my own way. And that's like my goal for the next eight months, you know? That's really my fucking goal because I'm done. I'm done. So I'm sticking to things while I'm working through my other stuff. Because when I feel like the leap is ready to be taken, I will be taking that leap. And... Yeah, uh, I'm going to be filming a lot more on both channels and I'm going to be updating a lot more. But yeah, the other thing is like I keep starting projects and I'm not fo like following through. And that's why I want to do this fast because it reminded me I can do anything. And the good thing about the job that I got when I went through training, that also reminded me like when I set my fucking brain into anything... I really can do it. Like I didn't I didn't fail a singular test. Like I literally like f like went through the whole process like without failing anything. You know what I mean? And it's not that failure is is important, right? Like um uh don't get me wrong. Like I failed a lot of things in my life and I failed things excuse me on the first try just to realize like I was just like overthinking it or not confident enough and then the second time it's work or the third time you know so i know i'm smart i know i'm capable i know i'm courageous i just need to bridge that final gap between my fear of certain things like fear of being seen fear of being rid ridiculous fear of doing something that's too out there you know what i mean like that's not how you grow in life and that's not how you start things in life you know um so I've been reading stuff from people that I find more fascinating and more daring. And it's really helped, you know, because them too, they go through that similar process of people thinking they're crazy or like too intense and whatnot. And I'm fucking, sorry, I'm fucking tired, like literally and physically. So let's fucking get it. I'm fucking done. Also, I'm sorry for those of you who don't like swearing, but my day to day when I'm home and when I'm expressing myself without a filter and without like caring, I swear a lot. So it's going to come out because I'm just, I'm tired of putting a mask, you know? I'm tired of that fucking mask and I just want to be myself. And you, some of you are going to hate it, some of you are going to like it. I don't give a fuck, you know? For those of you that like it, I love you guys so much, you know? Like, welcome home, welcome to a place that you can like relate to. And for those of you who don't like, there's like millions of people out there. And I hope that you find the people that you click with and that you like. Personally, I'm still trying to find my people out there, okay? And that's why I want to expand my life. That's why I want to expand my horizon. That's why I want to like put myself out there and travel the world and see the world and do things. And write my books and read books and meet people, you know? So that's my goal back to reading romantic outlaws and i'm almost done with it here i am at work i'm just sitting on an airport standby while i'm reading this and yeah then after i got home and i finished reading it and as you can tell like i am not well because it was just a lot of emotion towards the end reading about mary wollstonecraft and mary shelley and then their <laughs> passing and their you know mark on history on women's rights on women's writers and it's just it was a lot like it really like got to me towards the end i really felt a lot and i'm i'm it feels like going through grief if that makes mm -hmm. sense highly recommend this book have a great week oh i'll see God. you next time <laughs>